ペンションフォークは1990年代にアメリカでね、あのー、開発されてね、えーうん、91、2年に日本にも入ってきて、当時はアフターマーケットの商品で、完成車に後からそのフォークを取り替えるという需要だけだった。それをうちが最初から完成車に付くようなね、商売の方法を始めて、えー、最初はアメリカのマウンテンバイクを中心にね、えー、徐々に伸びていったんですがあの大きく伸ばすきっかけはやっぱりヨーロッパのねあのトレッキングバイクシティバイクにもサスペンションをね紹介して、えー、それが2000年以降ねあの本格的に浸透して2010年代にはヨーロッパアメリカでね、あのー、SR3 ツアーだけで1000万本の生産をするほどの,あの大きなあれになって、まあ、マーケットシェアもヨーロッパではあ IBD って高級品の、あのー、自転車には8割以上つくようになってアメリカの,あのマウンテンでもね大きなマーケットシェアを取るようになって、まあ、これから電動車でもサスペンションがね中心的な商売になるので、今後も非常に大きな期待を持っている商品で
At SR Suntour, we may be the only company to proudly state we make awesome entry-level forks. We design and manufacture suspension seen on hybrid commuter bikes, on a kid's first real mountain bike, and all the way up to World Cup podiums. The mission? To make quality suspension products for the entry-level, World Cup racing, and everything in between. For the rider, whether on top of the wildest trails in the world or zipping around a city, this translates into the convenience of dependable quality with excellent performance value. Our philosophy of reliability, serviceability, and value are consistent through all of our products as the technology and designs we create for top-level racing are then incorporated into our full line of suspension. My name is Mark West. I'm the team manager of a UCI mountain bike team called the Sufferfest African Dream Team. It is a small team based from the African country of Lesotho. So we decided to form the team because we realized there were kids in, in Lesotho who had talent but no chance of being able to, to even get bikes or ride on the world's biggest stages. And so we decided to set up the team to give them that opportunity. We registered in 2014 and we've never looked back and it's been amazing to see our riders riding in, in World Cups, World Championships and one rider even in the Rio Olympic Games. It's been a dream come true for these riders who would never have had the chance otherwise. Our journey with SR Centaur is a, is a funny story because in Lesotho we get a lot of old uh, lower end model bikes and every single bike has got an SR Centaur fork on it. So when I discovered that uh, SR Centaur does top-end fo uh, forks as well, I decided to, to uh, contact the company and see if there's any way that we could have a collaboration with them. And I was amazed that straight away we got an email back from, from uh, Christoph in Germany to, to say, yes, we really want to work with you guys.
lightest bike isn't necessarily the fastest bike. For the shortest possible time over marathon distances, one day or stage races, reliability, serviceability, and function are the vital technical criteria. Each year, the Apsa Cape Epic provides the ultimate test for both the riders and the bike components. If the bike gets through this, it'll get through anything. The 2018 Cape Epic route saw a return to previous formats, with a prologue and full-on stage race all the way to the end. A total distance of 653 kilometers, with 15,530 meters of climbing, over eight days of racing, including four back-to-back -back days over 100 kilometers. In this year's race, the teams of Centurion Vare, riding the Axon Works, were amongst the favorites for podium places. A race of this scale, with such incredible demands on the riders and their equipment, makes for an even more unpredictable race than most. This year, before the race even got started, Centurion Vare suffered a major blow as Johan Kies was forced to withdraw due to injury. Then to make things worse, during the race, Johan's replacement, Jarek Salzman, fell victim to a stomach problem which prematurely ended this talented young rider's stab at the epic. To kick things off, the prologue took the riders up and around the iconic Table Mountain. Any time advantage gained here would set down an important marker for the other teams. With their 18 second gap over Cannondale Factory Racing, Daniel Geismar and Nicolo Robach stormed into the race lead securing the leader's jersey for stage one. In first place, winning the prologue, and your overall leaders of the 2018 APSA Cape Epic, Team Centurion Faude. From Switzerland, Nicola Rohrbach, and representing Austria, Daniel Geismeyer. The role of SR Centaur's lockout system was a key element to the Axon Works' performance during the mountain time trial. The importance of suspension in marathon racing is often overlooked. Going full gas for four, five, or six hours over such intense terrain is incredibly exhausting, especially over consecutive days. The role of suspension in reducing fatigue is massive, one in which the riders and our technical staff are dedicated to perfecting. The effects of fatigue are not just limited to the legs. When a rider is tiring, decision-making also suffers. Staying sharp mentally during the race is essential, again the result of reliable suspension. Ensuring optimum performance in the suspension system through a stage race such as the Cape Epic feeds into this notion of fatigue reduction. This type of marathon racing is demanding on the mechanics as well. It is a clear advantage when the serviceability of the systems are also maximized. SR Centaur is well aware of this aspect in their development of the QSP principle, focusing on sealed cartridge systems and convenient tooling. Unfortunately for Daniel and Nicola, they were unable to carry the leader's jersey all the way to the overall victory. An outstanding fifth place in the general classification to add to the prologue victory was the reward for their strength and determination. Equally, it was rewarding for SR Centaur's rider feedback-driven development, a commitment to developing products that withstand the harshest riding conditions. We call this refined simplicity. Je suis Pierre Le Breton, l'un des deux team managers du team KMC Koi SR Suntour, qui travaillons pour le fondateur de l'équipe Michel Lutzebo. Le team et SR Suntour, c'est la plus longue collaboration que nous avons eue en tant que structure indépendante. Cette année, c'est le 30e anniversaire de la marque SR Suntour et je crois que nous avons collaboré sur au moins la moitié de l'âge de la compagnie. Pour nous, ça a été euh, la collaboration, je pense, la plus importante dans notre histoire parce que ça a été un, un vrai saut et ça nous a permis de progresser. Euh, on a une vraie histoire en commun dans la compétition avec une vraie évolution en, en parallèle. Je pense que nous étions parmi les premiers à rouler en Coupe du Monde avec la fourche Axon et euh, nous avons tout de suite vu à quel point le produit était bien réalisé parce que ça nous a permis de travailler sur le, le développement très facilement. La fourche, déjà à ce moment-là, elle est toujours elle est très facile à, 
à entretenir, mais aussi à régler et ajuster pour chaque pilote. Ça a toujours été un atout pour nous. Et depuis, on n'a pas cessé de développer les suspensions qui aujourd'hui sont le, le critère déterminant pour le matériel en compétition. L'histoire de l'évolution de l'équipement va de pair aussi avec, avec nos succès, avec une grande marche passée en 2011. Euh, la saison de Coupe du Monde avait tout de suite commencé très bien avec notre première victoire en Coupe du Monde élite. C'est Julie Bressé qui remportait d'Albi Forest au début de la saison. Sur cette même course, euh, on faisait presque carton plein avec Maxime Marotte également qui faisait son premier podium en Coupe du Monde euh, avec une remontée fantastique dans le dernier tour qui l'a amené à la troisième place. Donc beaucoup d'émotions. La saison démarrait bien. Euh, elle a bien terminé aussi avec euh, le titre mondial en U23 de Julie Bressé à Champéry. Et toute cette période nous a amené jusqu'à 2012. Une médaille d'or olympique, toujours pour Julie Bressé, enchaînée avec un titre mondial en élite cette fois-ci. Notre histoire commune a vu de grandes évolutions en termes d'équipement aussi. Euh, on a démarré avec euh, uniquement des hardtails, avec la suspension à l'avant, des roues de 26 pouces. Et au fur et à mesure, les roues ont grandi. Euh, nous roulons maintenant majoritairement en, en vélo tout suspendu. Euh, tout ceci pour répondre à l'évolution des, des, des parcours et des critères de performance sur les circuits. Aujourd'hui, la suspension est devenue déterminante.
I won two times the Olympic gold medal, Athens 2004 and Beijing 2008. So I decided to announce my retirement uh, just before Halbstadt uh, because I realized that my uh, pollen allergy became uh, worse and worse. So I decided to stop and to, um, to be more focused on my new job, my manager job. I'm also really excited to start um, the new collaboration with the SRSM Tour. I will be uh, the SRSM Tour ambassador for, for cross country with my um, Absolute Absalom team, but also with uh, an e-bike with a moustache. So um, in two weeks, uh, I will do uh, the first uh, e-bike event in uh, Villard de Lens and Velo Vert Festival. So I will be there for moustache and also for a certain tour. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, also I really want to, to test some um, new uh, suspension settings, especially for, for the e-bikes. In fact, um, I was always using uh, e-bike in my preparations uh, for cross country since uh, maybe five years. Uh, I know very well uh, the moustache guys and it was a, a dream for me to work with them. So when I decided to build my own team, uh, I started also a collaboration with uh, moustache. So it's interesting because it's a good um, a good tool for, for a racer to ride also e-bike because you can do a lot of, of things. You can do some recovery training, some specific technical tra training. Some it's a I always like to, to shift bike to, to pass from the road bike to the cross country bike to the under bike and uh, and now. Uh, with the e-bike, we can do some new things. Like this, you can be focused on the on the power meter, and you keep um, the rhythm you you need. Also, the e-bike, uh, you can do some technical uh, work because you can climb really fast with uh, electric assistance. And like this, uh, you do 60 or 75 percent more. Climbing, that means also more downhill. So you ride more with the same efforts, you do uh, more, more downhill and more climbing. Servus, ich bin der Guido Chuk. Ich bin jetzt seit fast 20 Jahren Mountainbike-Profi im Bereich Vorkurs, Downhill und Freeride und bin sogar zweimal die Red Bull Rampage mitgefahren als einzigster Deutscher. Ein Sponsor hat irgendwann mal äh, die Budgets gekürzt im Non-E-Bike-Bereich und dann äh, hat mich von SR Sandtour der Hoshi eben drauf gebracht, ich könnte ja da im E-Bike-Bereich ein bisschen Gas geben und dass das Zukunft hat und habe mir das dann mal angeschaut und habe äh, sehr schnell festgestellt, dass das ja, auf jeden Fall voll abgeht und ähm, SS Santo hat mich da von Anfang an eigentlich begleitet damit. Der Umstieg von einem äh, normalen Bike auf das E-Bike war schon ein krasses Feeling, weil ja, da ging es mir eigentlich so wie jeden, der das erste Mal ein E-Bike fährt. Du kriegst äh, ein riesen Grinsen ins Gesicht, weil das halt einfach so mitschiebt. Das ist wie wenn du immer Rückenwind hast. Ähm, ja, und natürlich das Mehrgewicht ähm, macht mir jetzt weniger aus, weil ich natürlich viel Motocross fahre und Enduro Motorrad und konnte damit relativ gut umgehen. Im Gegenteil, ist natürlich cool, wenn jetzt das Gravity Bike auch noch bergauf ähm, mit ein bisschen Speed fahren kann.
Hallo Leute, mein Name ist Marco Hössel, mehrfacher Weltmeister im Trial äh, und heute bin ich sehr viel auf dem E-Mountainbike unterwegs und fahre einfach gerne ja, technische Trails. Issues got issues, ah. ready and heavy confetti up on the scenery and see me leave this greenery, dreamingly change the scenery. That's just a kin to me, finicky, all this energy in me, ain't no Hennessy remedy, all my enemies. Ah. Gotta flow, gotta show, gotta blow, gotta get out of it. Now let me go, let me know, let me know the thoughts up in my brain. Let me, then let me, get, let me be, but you can fix the pain. It's like paralysis, now what a marriage is Leave him in bandages and everything will vanish It's a slow man, it's so man, it's on me before he dies It's life's a journey, so come along, enjoy the ride like Ooh. If I had a penny or a dollar Every time somebody holler About what they gon' do for me Boy, I'd be rich Oh, your sister knows who And your brother gon' do Something for us But they just ignore Steady boys with a chorus And check the flow now No, now I don't wanna hear About the years getting old now Oh, now Back to work and nine to five to suit seam Everybody got a jersey on me Bunch of old dreams Take off my jersey Don't trouble you Got a W Trouble you with the struggle Do juggle Do about the W They pay them top dollar Play the role of Scott Tyler Stop Scott Slot Faster, you know. Come on, faster. Come on, you know. Oh, jeez. Wow, Donc je peux euh, euh, commencer à raconter cette histoire euh, de, la, de la descente euh, mountain bike qui débute euh, en 1989 en France. J'ai essayé d'imaginer la descente idéale qui en finirait plus. Qui en finirait plus. Et donc euh, j'ai recherché euh, partout des possibilités. On avait même imaginé, euh, on m'avait parlé d'une remontée mécanique extraordinaire euh, mais qui était militaire au Venezuela. En revanche, c'est vrai que en France, on avait identifié deux ou trois sites possibles. Et à l'époque, on organisait, et ça marchait très très bien, une série qui s'appelait Avalanche Cup. Les Avalanche Cup, c'était une série internationale de descente qui, qui, qui marchait très fort parce qu'elle répondait aux critères que tous les, les grands descendeurs de la Coupe du Monde attendaient et qu'ils ne trouvaient pas nécessairement dans les, dans les années 90 sur les Coupes du Monde. Et donc, euh, cette, euh, cette grande descente 
euh, il fallait lui trouver un nom. Ça pouvait pas s'appeler Avalanche Cup parce que les Avalanche Cup, c'était des descentes des cent sprint. Alors que là, on avait inventé le concept descente marathon. Et donc, bah, finalement, on s'est dit, pourquoi la... C'est une, une méga descente. Donc, c'est une méga avalanche. Et puis, c'est devenu une méga avalanche. Et depuis, euh, maintenant un quart de siècle, euh, elle, elle représente ce qu'est, là aussi, devenu la pratique euh, la plus ouverte du mountain bike, puisque elle a imposé une polyvalence. Parce que sur une descente de 2400 mètres de dénivelé, avec 20 et quelques kilomètres de, de distance, on ne peut pas évidemment avoir que de la descente. On a des relances, on a des replats, on a même des, 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 des faux plats montants, euh, mais évidemment, on privilégie tous les aspects de la descente, y compris sur la glace, sur la neige, euh, comme c'est à l'Alpe d'Huez, ou comme à l'île de la Réunion, euh, entre le Maïdo et, et l'océan euh, Indien. Donc euh, la méga manche était née. a créé un appel d'air pour euh, générer cette, dans l'industrie la construction de, de produits, de composants, de, de géométrie, de, de cycles qui s'adaptaient à la polyvalence. Alors, du coup, je suis spécialiste de la mégavalanche, je l'ai gagné 12 fois avec l'Alpe d'Huez et la Réunion. Euh, bah, c'est une course qui est, qui est vraiment atypique, c'est vrai que bah, c'est la descente la plus longue du monde, on part euh, sur le glacier, on arrive tout en bas avec euh, un énorme dénivelé, beaucoup de, de pilotes au, au départ, avec à la fois des top pilotes et euh, des gens qui veulent se faire plaisir, euh, juste arriver en bas. Donc ça c'est vraiment une épreuve euh, que j'apprécie parce qu'on voilà, on roule vraiment longtemps, on se fait plaisir et euh, voilà, c'est vraiment un challenge physique et technique. Et après, bah, c'est vrai que c'est une épreuve qui est très exigeante. Donc, euh, en termes de développement, c'est vraiment idéal parce que voilà, c'est une descente qui est longue. Donc, il va, il va falloir euh, des suspensions qui, sont, qui tiennent le coup, qui sont fiables, qui maintiennent euh, des bonnes capacités même quand, quand il y a de l'échauffement. Euh, parce que voilà, ça se coud pas mal. Et après, il va falloir aussi des, des suspensions qui sont, qui sont polyvalentes parce qu'on on a tout type de terrain. On part sur la neige. Après on a le pierrier, après on va être en plus en prairie, des fois c'est roulant, ça, des fois c'est cassant, un parti final en forêt. Donc voilà, ça permet vraiment de mettre au point euh, vraiment des, 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 des fourches euh, suspensions qui, qui marchent vraiment bien pour euh, l'enduro voilà, en général et sur, euh, dans toutes les situations. Un jour, euh, quelqu'un m'appelle au téléphone et me dit euh, oh, « Georges Edwards, euh, j'aime beaucoup ce que vous faites parce qu'au moins euh, vous n'êtes pas dépendant euh, de l'UCI, vous n'avez pas le joug euh, d'une autorité sportive qui n'est pas toujours euh, en prise avec la réalité, euh, vous avez euh, imaginé la descente euh, euh, et vous avez combattu pour, pour défendre ce qu'est la descente. » Et là, maintenant, vous avez inventé un, un truc extraordinaire. Et je dis, oui, euh, ok, et puis, euh, mais vous êtes qui Et il me dit, donc, euh, Henri Manders, si ça vous dit quelque chose, bon, moi, je ne me disais rien, mais euh, rien que son palmarès, c'était euh, très respectueux. Et il me dit, euh, voilà, moi, je suis euh, représentant d'une grande firme euh, asiatique, et, et c'est vrai que j'aimerais... Euh, vous soutenir, m'associer à, à ce que vous faites. Moi, à l'époque, ça m'avait beaucoup touché parce qu'on était 
très esselé, euh, on n'avait pas le soutien de qui que ce soit, et, et d'avoir euh, sou le soutien d'un industriel euh, comme Suntour, ça m'a conforté dans l'idée que euh, il fallait continuer, on, a, on avait raison de continuer. Ah, donc ça fait maintenant 5 ans que je roule avec les, les produits Sun Tour. Donc c'est ce qui m'a vraiment, ce que j'ai vraiment aimé dès le début, c'est qu'il y avait vraiment une, une relation entre le pilote et, euh, et la marque et beaucoup de voilà Sun Tour super motivé pour le développement. Elle met les moyens, donc on a fait pas mal de, de séances de test et voilà j'ai pu voir l'évolution et c'est vrai que en 5 ans maintenant c'est des produits totalement différents. Voilà les, les cartouches ont, ont vraiment évolué, même les, tous les castings, on le voit avec la la Duralux par exemple, donc euh, c'est vraiment intéressant d'avoir pu euh, aider au développement et d'avoir vu cette progression et, et la marque qui, qui monte sur du, du vraiment haut de gamme maintenant. La méga Valange continue d'être euh, euh, un, un symbole pour euh, tous les riders qui veulent accéder au statut de, 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 de véritable descendeur.
much sleep to cross them yawning As I lay here dormant, whole world on pause for this small moment I look outside and watch the sunrise kiss the world good morning And just enjoy the calm that holds me right before the storming I roll over and kiss her on her cheek, she looks so gorgeous She smiles and I sleep, it's times like these that are the most important See, I'm just stuck on play in a world that's living And fast forward, this planet flying through space Happy with the path it orbits It's that feeling of the summertime light rays Cruising top down with my crew on the highway The feeling that puts a smile on my face Face. So feeling I chase every time I wake So I just get dressed and message my friends Look fresh in my new ray bands I got that drink in my yeah. hand Party yeah. the way that we can Video? Oh, it's rowdy. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa! 200! <laughs> what a animal! So here we are in the La Canasosa for the first uh, SR Sun Tour training camp. Uh, it's really cold here, uh, snowing a few days ago and it's pretty wet and slippery track. But I think it's good if we can find the grip here. We probably have grip the whole season, so... Today we are testing the, um, the telemetry with the, um, with the fork and the suspension. No, I definitely learned some stuff. Uh, it's cool to chat with a lot of the uh, European mechanics. Changed some stuff up on my fork. Um, this past week has been super helpful for me and I think it's uh, really going to benefit me going into the seasons. Uh, this is my second year working with SR Sun Tour and 
I'm really enjoying it, the development that we've made with the opportunity to work with the tech guys, um, with R&D, and everybody's so invested and really trying to better the product and help us to go faster and have more fun on our bikes. Hmm? In the afternoon we did a nice jump session with the downhill guys, that was pretty awesome. In the end I was leading up a train through the jump line and all the downhill guys behind me. I was kind of nervous in the beginning but it was really a lot of fun and I enjoyed being with them. It was our idea to, to concentrate all the rider in one, one place, cross country rider, free ride rider and downhill rider. To make a, like a, a center family, we make a lot of tests about damping, a new air system, new seals. The new rigs is, is coming so it's also our occasion to test the new RUX. Concerning the project and the development of the RUX, we, we make some changing uh, regarding our feedback we got to the last uh, World uh, Championship. We change a little bit the range damping on the high speed and low speed compression. We improve some uh, modification about the sliding, the bushing. We change also the, the ranking of, of the forks. And uh, today we're testing also a new air system and the seals to improve the performance and we will see if it will be available in the future. Yes, this week has been unreal. Just been testing. I've uh, been getting my fork dial for the season. Uh, really excited to go. I've been shuttling. It's been badass, you know, like meeting all the other riders too. Like meeting the cross country guys, the downhill yeah, guys, getting to ride with them. It's been really good. Um, they the tracks dried out a little bit. They've been pretty wet all week. But uh, today they were a little bit drier, rode a little bit faster in the corners. The dirt was unreal. Uh, the rocks weren't too slick and you could really get going on these tracks. Um. So today was the last day in La Fenasosa for the WX training camp. Uh, we had some good times uh, setting the suspension for the upcoming World Cup season. I think everybody is ready to race now. Rolling into Kamloops, uh, ready to test out the new Sun Tour in Oxford. Six in the morning, uh, looking out the window, it's not too windy. A little bit of clouds, uh, perfect conditions, so we have to get out Monopoly money, I just passed go. Funny thing, you ain't wanna take the chance though. 
Remember them shows when you told me that you can't go? Then I find you out posting pictures on the gram, though. How your Snapchat lit? I thought your grammar sick. Yeah, I used to keep mine cool, but wasn't a fan of it. Looking back at it now, you never imagined it. I'll be packing out the spots you and your friends can't Said get that you it. Wait for me, even though you didn't. Didn't think I'd make it on this road, I was driven. Tank hit E, I just push it to the limit. No nice whole days, that's a real time commitment. I bet you wish you listened to me. I bet you wish you listened to me. I know you wish you listened to me. Cause now they all listen to me. Getting old and she trying to retire And every job I ever had I either quit or got fired Trying to walk the right road and get splashed by some tires That shit'll make you put your hoodie on like Mike from the wire You know the attire Then I sat back and I switched my style Said you wanna be a Michael or a Tristan Wilds So when I leave my city, ain't back for a while But reppin' every step to New York to be proud Sometimes you gotta cut off the people you love If they don't comprehend the reason you do what you do Instead of with these strippers out catching the dub I'm trying to be the reason people go out to the club Like DJ, won't you play that shit? That's my favorite shit Now all the girls that was playing Chris Wanna take a pic Even better in my inbox Send the naked pics Requested by a cancer patient kid I'm trying to make Said that wish you wait for me even though you didn't Didn't think I'd make it on this road I was driven Tank hit E, I just push it to the limit No nice whole days, that's a real time commitment I bet you wish you listened to me I bet you wish you listened to me I know you wish you listen to me Cause now they all listen to me Willing to climb. And even if you think it is, you won't know till you try. I put my faith in one place and bet it all on the line. Ain't no trying to play it safe when you got dreams to find. Man, you know how much time I spent just to get in this position. Had to grind for the rent. Working hard like a minion online every day. Sending in some submissions. Thank God I never listened to a hater with opinion. That's a fact now. Walked with Rosa, took a stand when I sat down. No longer that Negro you see sitting in the back now. Boosting my ego, pumped it up. Not flat now. Females that front it, you still thinking that I'm. I'm wag now. I said, you still thinking that I'm wag now? Can't change the way you act now. I'm everything you wish you had now. You sick. Don't ever let anything or anyone hold you back from what you need to get accomplished. Don't matter if they male or female. If they can't understand what's going on, they not on your team. They playing for the other one. They ain't with you, they against you. Instead of seeing you grow, they rather you fall apart. I'm not saying I'm perfect, but shouldn't we all try to be? Can't sleep, forgot to eat. Wake up at seven with the better three. That's dedication. Said that you would wait for me, even though you didn't. Didn't think I'd make it on this road, I was driven. Tank hit E, I just push it to the limit. Long nights, whole days, that's a real time commitment. I bet you wish you listen to me. I bet you wish you listen to me. I know you wish you listen to me. Cause now they all listen to me. Yeah, it's pretty cool to be part of a company that's been around for 30 years and, and making quality products. I mean, I've been with them since the beginning of the Rocks, and the Rocks has come a long ways, and, and uh, looking forward to the future. 30 years of Sunter being, uh, being in business, and I'm just super stoked to be part of the family and been, been with them since the beginning of the, the Rocks revolution and, and uh, stoked for the times ahead. I've always wanted to be a part of something like growing something so joining on to the whole Rux program back in the day and developing a new product, a new fork and, and seeing how far it's come today was, was kind of 
the whole thing behind getting on board was just to develop a really good solid product. Uh, I love the rucks. I mean, like we were saying earlier, it's come it's come a long way, and it's been a hard road to get to get them where we want them. But uh, yeah, just my riding style is kind of just set them, set it, and forget it. So that's the rucks is perfect for me for that. I just set it up once, and and uh, it's pretty much good all season. So perfect for me. No, yeah, like over the last last couple of years, testing and developing the new rucks. Even at Rampage and stuff, we've come a long ways with with all the new dampers we've been trying out, and and uh, it's it's pretty crazy how far it's come. The fork is just feeling amazing, and and having uh, so many world class class riders riding the fork now, like Sorgi and Carson and and the World Cup team, it's it's uh, it's pretty crazy to see see how far the rocks has come and and how good it's doing. Well, at the time, Suntour. Uh, wanted to start a new uh, a new fork like make a new new product the rocks and uh, at the time I was was uh, in a good spot to help him out to develop a new a new fork and and give him my kind of feedback on it so it's it's been a it's been a cool cool project Preparations going into Rampage, you know, you got to be focused mentally and you also want to be feeling good physically on your bike. So those are kind of the two big things you got to balance. And then, of course, you want to have your bike set up dialed and making sure it's going to be set up perfect for the kind of train and big hits you're going to go endure out in the desert. Suspension setup is one of the most important things on a bike for sure. And, you know, whether, um, just downhilling at home, I like to set it up a bit softer. And then for jumping, it's really stiff. And then for rampage, it's a, it's a bit of a balance between the two of those. It's a constant trial and error with setting up suspension, whether you're downhilling or jumping or competing at events like rampage. You gotta always be changing and tuning and tweaking everything, so. Luckily the suspension we have is really easy to use and it's just kind of fun to play around with different setups. the Rux World Tour, where everybody wants to be.
10, sound good? There are some lies that seem to die. How could you walk against the wind? How could you stop the earth go round? You never know which road to take. One never knows which way goes down. Will you get back once to the shore? Are you ready for the fight? This is, uh, this is one of those trips that I wish I could do 365 days a year, you know. We're, we're out here, we're building our own lines, we're, you know, nothing's manicured, everything's pretty raw. It's, uh, it's free ride and it's ultimate element. Yeah, and then, you know, you get back to camp later that night and you, you start a fire up, you crack a beer and, you know, the jokes are flowing and we're recapping on the day and I think everyone's just, yeah, everyone's enjoying it. It's hard not to enjoy it. For me, this is mountain biking. This is what I want to do. Just sleep, uh, eat, ride, eat, sleep, I repeat. When I ride, I'm happy. But nice shave. It's okay. Oh, yeah. oh my god! Rocks World Tour. I would definitely. The best thing about yeah. France. Yeah, the Rux World Tour, I've definitely, this is the first time I've met like a number of the dudes here. So it's cool just to be able to experience a new place and ride with, you know, new people. And uh, yeah, just, it's really fun. Uh, just, we did lo lots of trains, kind of every spot we filmed, we just did trains and it's all just good times with good people. So yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, 
uh, Black Hills was off the hook, honestly. I um, uh, didn't really know what to expect. I heard it was kind of like the Rampage style, and I got that vibe for sure. Uh, definitely a different consistency of dirt. That's um, no question about that, but compared to like the Rampage style trails, um, it's very similar, and I definitely enjoyed that. Some of the ridge lines were, were pretty fun, and a lot of jumps out there, and some step downs, some flat drops, so definitely had a good time. Where are we? No idea. We're right there. We're in the middle of the mountains. And where? Uh, Z Alps. Or uh, not Z Alps, Le Alps. Le Alps. Where are we going, actually? I have no idea. Leon? France? The Desalp is pretty good because you can have huge faces with lift access. Basically everything is rideable. So you just take the lift, walk five minutes and then boom, it's game on. I've wanted to go to Paradise for a long time and no one better to go with than uh, Garrett Bueller and he's been there before and we've talked about going many times. Just tell him about how rad it is that we got to go out there and finally made it happen this year. It's kind of got it all in terms of how far you want to push yourself or it's not really like closing the doors off to anyone, it's just uh, full creative, do what you want. You need to be able to trust the guys you're with out there and you all kind of rely on each other in the end and yeah, when everything's flowing with the group and that's when some special moments happen.
This is the Instagram famous Elliot. <laughs> Everyone in the world, hashtag Elliot. This is Elliot. Hashtag <laughs> Elliot. Hashtag Elliot. Hashtag <laughs> Elliot. Oh yeah. You see the bear? Yeah, there was a big bear just up there. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, just walking through the trees. Don't you see it? Yeah, yeah, come up. Get closer. Yeah. Yeah. Big bear. <laughs> we, we told these random dudes that there was a bear. <laughs> and then they busted out bear spray and a stick out of their car. <laughs> <laughs> We had, we made a friend this week. Couldn't take him with us. He really, really wanted to come. He was a shredder himself. Probably had some of the nicest landings of the week. Really knew how to lay it in there. Harry was his name. You know, he could pick up chicks. He could shred lines. He could make us all laugh. You know, he could all get us really close in the, together. You know, we were here. We liked him so much we even gave him our food. We really helped Harry out. You know, we just met him at the last campsite. Harry the Duck, man. That's uh, that's, that's a guy I'll always miss. I'll, I'll go back and visit Harry at least once a year. If you're ever in Crown Lake in British Columbia, Canada, stop in and say hi to Harry. Because he'll say hi back. That's what you gotta do. Oh. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Come here! <laughs> a palm in Gilead it comes like wisdom speaks like children it's a sight to the blind and a strength to my weakness it's something for soul, body, mind there is a balm in Gilead It's a rest for the weary a song to the sore It's a due to my dryness That fills me with joy When I had none
I've had two double organ transplants, a kidney and pancreas, battling a little bit of cancer right now. And two months ago, I had open heart surgery. And on top of that, the adventuresome life I've led, I've broken more bones than I can actually remember. Riding the bike has been that medication you can't buy in a pharmacy.
sand between sea and sea and my head. They all know it's a sin, but still the world remains dirty and far beyond reason. I wonder what's the plan somewhere. They all know it's a sin, but still the world remains dirty and far beyond reason. I wonder what's the plan somewhere. と大きな違いはないように見えますけれども、まあ、ちょっと簡単に機能を説明。Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. <laughs> La fille au pelo! Welcome to the Evo Bike Park! Strong, I think that works out pretty good. <laughs> Tested! <laughs> Five extra large. Can I try that on? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
this is video.